Hi folks, Chris with C3, introducing a new knife of mine. This is uh, the Master Hunter. Okay, bringing it out here to the campsite. Try her out a little bit. Um, just finished it up. This one has uh, OD green and black G10 with yellow liners. You know, feels really nice. I like this one a lot. Been tuning it into my hand. Um, I intend on keeping this one and using it. Um, has it's the full convex grind. Here's a nice piece of fat wood. I'm gonna get a little fire going here um, and roast up some hot dogs and work on the benches around the fire. Alright, boy, she's curling up the fat wood very nicely. I kind of like different sized pieces, so I'll dig it in a little harder on certain edges and I like a nice, good size pile. That way it burns almost like wax and you really have no difficulty getting the fire going. Hit it with a fire steel. This can be soaking in water for 20 minutes, you hit it, it's going up. So it's 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 great. <clears throat> but you need a fire steel. A simple flint doesn't really work. Magnesium will. Okay, that is a really good pile right there. Very nice. Full convex grind on this one. Um, I like it. So far, so good. Okay, I'm going to put this in the fire pit. You can hear the fat wood just kind of sizzling, almost like wax. Now, I'll get some little sticks on there. That will burn for a few minutes, really. So it's just not a major rush. And you just don't have to be enormously careful because you've basically got a giant little wooden candle burning for you there. Back up a little bit more here. This side a little log. 
There's the fire pit. Let the fire get going a little bit. Get some more wood, and we'll be back. Thanks. And here we are. Got some logs started. You can see the coal bed down there is going. Fat wood once again does the trick like a dream. You know, it just wasn't used until we had really had fire steels. Um, you need that really strong spark um, for it to be used really efficiently. Uh, before the modern fire steel, the uh, char cloth was definitely the way to go. But anyway, here the fire's going, and we'll let it burn a little bit, and we'll get the coals going and get the grill on there. Okay, folks, um, I also today brought the spearhead up that is carved out of fatwood, and if you can see, no, it's just getting glossy as the pitch, pitch wood, fat wood, that resin starts to just ooze up out of the wood. Now once the wood gets to a certain temperature and that resin gets to a certain temperature, then it will harden kind of like rock candy does or uh, corn once you boil it to a certain temperature it will harden inside that wood and uh, you you effectively have an extremely hard tip that I am making for this defensive um, spear so anyway we're doing that as the fire continues to burn down to a nice bed of coals to do up uh, some dogs tonight all right and over here is right over there is where I chopped that log which is gonna go right over here to complete make a nice uh, much better bench right there for sitting and then I've been bringing rocks down over here to expand the fire pit just a little bit make it bigger around this edge here so anyway just doing a little work onward Okay, folks, we have the fatwood spearhead. As you can see, that resin, the pitch, basically, uh, is just oozing up out of that wood. And if you really doubt whether or not that wood is going to be harder once I take it off the heat and all of that resin cools back down, <laughs> that's going to be an awesome tip. Then what you would do, I'm going to cheat, but what you would do in a natural setting is find a smooth stone and use that like you would sandpaper and sand that tip down to a very nice sharp but stout um, point. Anyway, um, I'll probably use sandpaper and cheat but it'll be very cool once it's done and I'll show how I'll attach it to the shaft um, of the spear which I'll construct as well and then use the pitch that I made earlier in an earlier video um, to get it all done so anyway I'm gonna rotate that spearhead and let the fire burn thanks okay folks um, what I'm doing here, this last bit, is I'm rotating the spearhead and I've been sitting here just kind of doing this near the coals. You can see it gets really hot. That resin starts to really come out. Now it's been baking on the rock for like an hour here. You can see the fire has burned down. A lot and I have just been roasting this head um, it's gonna be my spearhead here so this wood is extremely hot all the way through and that's really the key um, if you don't get the wood hot enough all the way through it doesn't harden properly and you've still got a, a very formidable 
little head for your spear, but it's not what I'm trying to show here. And this, what I'm showing with the hardening of fat wood into tools uh, can be applied in a variety of ways. So I'm showing it as a defensive spearhead, okay, because you generally, I see the resin is just liquefying and I want it to go into, there's a couple little cracks. So I hit it with heat. I don't want it to really drip off. I want it to get in those cracks. Yeah, and it's just filling in those cracks. And then we'll just become almost like glass once it hardens. Anybody that's familiar with pitch and how it hardens um, once it cools down, that's basically what's happening inside of this wood is you're just getting hardened pitch inside the wood that reinforces the wood and will make a very formidable weapon head. But you can utilize um, this idea in a variety of ways. I generally am not in the camp that believes you should really ever attach your knife to the end of a stick. Um, as a spear or something like that because if you throw it you get one chance and then your knife is gone which is your most important tool out in the woods so this is a very viable alternative to ever ever throwing your knife <laughs> In the survival situation in any way so if you have a few minutes a day or so you could do this in a day whenever an afternoon while you're doing other things okay it's glossy all the way around it's been baking for a long time and this wood is hot through and through um, I'm calling this one good and this is going to make an absolutely amazing uh, defensive tool. So there it is. A hardened fat wood spearhead. Primarily made with the uh, C3 bush killer in CPM 3V. And uh, there she is. I'll show the attachment to the shaft um, after I go and collect the shaft from the woods and and carve it down but that's the next step this baby is hardened I'm gonna put it off to the side to cool and then it'll not be sticky any longer so time to grill up some dogs and have some food all right thanks here we are folks and uh, those dogs are really, they are about done to perfection. You can kind of see, I just have a little nook carved off to the side and I scoop coals in there from the main pit. Barbecues or cooks, cooks everything up perfect on that little grill. You don't get a lot of, uh, too much smoke kind of is off to the side. That's how I like to do most of my cooking, by coals. Um, if you're going to do it on a fire pit, not, uh, not with an actual flame. That's, <laughs> that's a disaster. Absolutely. So anyway, I'm going to enjoy the dogs. The fire burned down a little bit. Pour some water on it, make sure it's out. And head the, uh, it's about a mile and a quarter, mile and a half back um, out. So... There we are, folks. Great afternoon. Uh, having some fun in the woods. Thanks.